Welcome back to another Painting with Sam episode. I haven't done one of these in a long time, uh, but hey, let's give it another shot, shall we? Uh, so today we're going to be taking uh, a crack at the Night Quester model from this game right here, Warhammer Silver Tower. Now, this has a whole lot of neat miniatures in it, some of which are very easy to put together, some of which are a little bit more difficult, but they're all very highly detailed. So I am looking forward to giving the Night Quester a try. So let's get down to the table and uh, we'll get it taken care of. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with a uh, Retributor armor uh, for the base coat of his armor. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get that first. Let's get to it. Now, of course, with the uh, Retributor armor as the base coat, we wanna be as liberal as we want to be with this, but uh, we don't wanna if we can stay away from getting it on some of these other places that aren't going to have that color, then we want to try to do that. But for the general uh, coat, we're basically just wanting to make sure we cover it real, real well um, everywhere that's going to have that armor look on it. So um, I'm using an older brush for this because I'm really looking for coverage more than detail or anything like that. So. Um, that's pretty much what we're looking for here. So now that I have a full, uh, pretty good base coat so that, uh, all you see is that armor. You don't see any of the uh, black underneath those spots where the armor is. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some uh, a shade. I'm going to hit the armor with a shade of a Seraphim a Sepia, and uh, it's going to give us uh, you know an antique, an old, a weathered look. I guess you could say that's going to fill in all of those uh, crevices and stuff like that. The detail in his armor. So uh, let's go ahead and get to that. And as with inks and washes, you want to make sure that the brush is nice and full of uh, the wash and then just be very liberal with it as you pour it in, um, or put it in rather, of all that. So it's, it's going to uh, grunge up uh, a lot of those shiny places, but we're going to come back and hit it with um, a lighter color gold anyway in some of those highlight spots. So just be liberal with it because that's what it's there for. And then after we've let the uh, ink dry, the wash dry, uh, that's very important that you do that first. We're gonna go ahead and hit the armor with this uh, Auric Armor Gold, which is a very light colored armor, as you can see, light colored gold. And we're just really hitting the uh, highlights, the top of the uh, detail that's on there. So we're gonna be using a dry brush technique, of course. And um, we're just gonna put uh, some paint in our brush. We're gonna fill the, fill the brush with paint, uh, kind of like that. Then we're just gonna take our towel, whatever it might be, and wipe most of it out. As you can see here, um, most of it is gone. Um, and then we're going to just uh, dry brush over this to bring out some of those high edges to make them shine just a little bit more. And now that we've got that uh, kind of shined up the way we want it, uh, of course you can be as uh, liberal or not as you want. If you want an older looking armor, you can use less highlights, but uh, I kind of like to fall somewhere in between. Um, but uh, after that uh, is done, we're gonna go ahead and hit, uh, use the um, McCrack Blue, and we're going to uh, use that for the base coat of all of the blue parts of his armor. He's gonna have some a blue little kneecap here. He's got his shoulder pauldron here is going to be blue. Um, and then his cape 
is also going to be blue here on the back. Um, so we're going to uh, do all that here pretty quick. Let's get to that. And once we've got all the blue done, um, we're going to go ahead and go back and hit all of the brown parts. Now, brown parts are going to be like, uh, there's parts on his belt here, these little flaps that are overneath, uh, over the um, other things here. Uh, this parchment that is kind of underneath his arm, off to his hip, and comes off on the side over here. That's all going to be a base coat of brown. He's got a strap over here that helps him hold his shield. Um, those kinds of things are what we're looking at uh, hitting this time. Also, we're going to be hitting uh, the different parts, like, for example, here. The hilt of the axe that's on his pauldron here is also going to be brown. The hilt of the hammer down here is also going to be brown. Um, the parchment that is on his shield, all that stuff is going to be brown. So we're going to hit all that as well. And so now that we have all the brown um, base coating, I guess you could say, because the scrolls are going to be, of course, a lighter color than that, the brown was just so that the indented letters in the scrolls will come out a little bit better. Um, and then over here on the shield, uh, all that brown, the hilt of the hammer. Up here, the hilt of the axe on his pauldron. Again, not a whole lot of brown there, but it's there. Uh, the little parts of his belt right in there as well. Now we're going to come with some lead belcher and we're going to uh, give the um, the hammer head over here, the axe head over here, um, and then of course his sword that he has in his hand. Also uh, the little uh, drape down here that uh, is chain mail or something to that effect is also going to be hit as well. So um, here we're of course using the same um, detail brush that we were using earlier because well, it just needs to be used. Some of these places are pretty small that we're trying to get into. And with all the silver on, as we can see there, the sword is nice and shiny. Actually, it's lead belcher, not silver. Um, now we're going to uh, take some uh, Army Painter white. Um, my Citadel white is gone out. So uh, we're going to be using Army Painter white here to do uh, just a few things here. There's some uh, design on his knee pad here, a lightning bolt on his shield, a lightning bolt on his pauldron here. Um, and also the lightning bolts on the uh, sword here on the sides. We're going to make white uh, just so they can stand out. And there's a little lightning bolt back here. We're going to try to touch with that white as well. So this is just kind of a accentuation at this point, but uh, we're just going to get it out of the way. For the plume, up on the top of this helmet here, we're going to be using a corn red as the base coat, and then we're going to be uh, highlighting it later on with some um, lighter shades of red. Now coming back to the parchments we're going to be that are kind of scrolling down under his arm here we're going to come back and hit it with a Zandri dust which hopefully is going to give it that uh, parchment color that we really want it to have and here I want to uh, keep the brush again perpendicular to the surface And we 
we are pretty much done here. We're just going to add a final touch to the blue cape and the part down here as well, and maybe around the edge of the shield, just to give a little bit of a highlighting effect. Um, and we're going to dry brush some uh, Calgar blue uh, in there so that uh, it provides a pretty nice shading. We might hit it with a blue tone uh, or an ink afterwards just to see. I don't know. We'll have to see how the dry brush works first. And so that is the Night Quester from Warhammer Quest Silver Tower. Um, I really like the model. I like uh, models that have flowing capes. It just provides a lot of action, a lot of movement. And uh, I just love um, these models because they have so much detail just built into them. Painting them is really kind of easy. Making them look good is kind of easy. Um, as long as you take your time and uh, do your best. So that was the Night Quester model from Warhammer Quest Silver Tower. Uh, we'll be taking a crack at some of the other models that come in this game uh, later on in future episodes of Painting with Sam. I don't know. They'll, they'll pop up every once in a while, not on any regular basis probably. But uh, let me know in the comments what you think, um, what other models you want me to do next from Warhammer Quest Silver Tower. And uh, until then, we'll see you guys on the flip side. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.